sometimes when you go for an oracle interview and they are interested to ask the question based on the patching they will ask you like how are you applying the patch not a process and basically they want to know are you going to apply the patch directly on the production environment so that they will come to know whether you have a real time experience with the oracle db or not because this type of answer you will never find it in the google and only the experienced person have the idea about how to apply the patch and even the patch is not something which you can find it on the google and basically we need to download it from the oracle support only where the access is required so if you want to apply the patch we should have a downtime we need to we need to shut down the database services and that information will be there into the readme.txt file which comes when you are downloading the oracle patch from the oracle metalink now the question over here is are you going to apply those patch directly on the production no if you work with the any oracle db environment you will find different different types of databases server just like development server then we have test server and then we can have your production server so first of all you will take the approval proper approval from your client saying like we need to apply this particular patch so if your client is okay so we will schedule a time date when you are going to apply this patch and this client will tell to the consumer saying like for this particular duration the application will not be available if all these plans are good then we will start the applying patch on development environment so first of all we will apply the patch on development if the patch is successful there is no issue then we will do the same activity on test again if you are not facing any kind of the issue you got the you have cross check everything and you come to know okay looks good then you can start applying the patch on your production environment so why we are doing this why we are following this practice because by any chance if you come up with any type of issues before development and test you will know that okay when i am applying it in the real time with the production environment how to fix that you will have a work around with you and many times you will face this kind of activity so whenever you are doing something critical which can affect to your database we always do it in the development test and finally in production environment because at the last moment if you come up with any sort of issues we cannot shut down your databases for longer time we have some enough maybe 30 or 1 hour type of duration you will get it where you need to fix all the issue otherwise you need to roll back the changes and again it will be a big trouble there so these things you should know as a oracle team thank you